There are countless stories of someone drinking a little too much and doing something memorable. Maybe you mistakenly got new ink, or bought something you shouldn't have. Very few stories can even compare to the legendary drunken night of one notorious hooligan and his friends. Let's talk about Paint the Town Red. To paint the town red means to party in a rowdy manner or to have a wild night out on the town. For example, my plan was to paint the town red, but they beat me to it. The precise origin of paint the town red is disputed, although we do know that the earliest known usage of the phrase in print was from the New York Times in July of 1883, and it appeared again in the November 1884 edition of the Boston Journal. Though it is said to have originated earlier, for one story in particular, we head overseas to the English town of Melton Mowbray. To his friends, he was Henry Beresford. To the public, he was known as the Mad Marquis for his known misdeeds such as stealing, fighting, breaking windows, and painting the heels of a parson's horse with aniseed and hunting him with bloodhounds. On April 6, 1837, the Marquis of Waterford and a few friends had themselves a day that would go down in history. They arrived at Thorpe End Tollgate after drinking heavily at Croxton Races. Instead of paying the toll, the Marquis and his cronies grabbed brushes and pots of nearby red paint and attacked the tollkeeper. They painted him red, nailed up the door, painted that red too, and marched into town carrying the stolen equipment. The mob knocked over flower pots, pulled on door knockers, and painted doors as they passed. They pulled down the sign at the Red Lion and threw it into the canal. The Marquis was hoisted on a friend's shoulders to paint the carved Swan Inn sign red at the Old Swan Inn. They vandalized the Leicestershire Banking Company and Post Office before attempting to overturn a caravan where a man was soundly sleeping. Several policemen tried to stop the madness at different points, only to be beaten up and painted for their efforts. When more police arrived in numbers, they finally captured one of the troublemakers and threw him in prison. His friends immediately rescued him. The next day, the Marquis paid for all the damages to the property and people. The pranksters were brought to court in July the following year, where they were found not guilty of riot, but were fined 100 pounds for each common assault, which is over 10,000 pounds today. The event was well documented, but unlikely that it is the origin of the phrase, paint the town red. This picture of the revelers from 1837 is entitled, A Spree at Melton Mowbray. The event itself was reported on that July in the new sporting magazine. It's suspicious that the first mention of the phrase in print was almost 50 years after the infamous night, and the cross the pond no less. It is sometimes said to come from the slang, paint, meaning to drink. When someone's drunk, their face and nose are flushed red, hence the analogy. Some believe it refers to setting something on fire. Others think it is because red is associated with violence. In light of all of this new information, let's celebrate tonight and paint the town red. <laughs>